Have you seen those super cool watercolor patterns? I like them so much that I decided to make a rainbow honeycomb pattern watercolor. First, off camera, I made this little stencil with cardboard and an exacto knife, and I used it to trace the hexagon pattern on the paper. It doesn't matter if it's not perfectly exact. At the end, the colors are going to be so cool that no one is going to notice if it's not super exact. So I'm going to start with my watercolors, and here's what my palette looks like right now. And it's kind of dirty, like in some parts. I haven't washed it completely because I still want to use these colors, but still, um, I added a little bit of new watercolors in this this little spaces and I'm going to be using uh, Winter and Newton Cutman watercolors and I'm going to be using um, a cheap craft um, brush that I have and I'm going to use a little uh, plastic cup uh, for the water and the paper that I'm using is called water paper it's 300, 300 grams and the the grain is rough, so it's going to give a nice texture to the watercolor. So let's get started. First, I'm going to dip my um, brush in the water, and then I'm going to I'm going to start with this hexagon here. And what I will do is I'm going to damp the whole surface. I'm going to do a wet and wet. Um, technique and if you don't know what that is maybe I should make a video on that or you could um, research for other people that I'm sure has done videos on the different watercolor techniques that are available and I'm going to use first because I want it to look like rainbows I'm going to use um, a red color I think this one is Cadmium Red DP on Cotman, uh, on Winter and Newton Cotman, it is the number 98. And I'm going to be adding just the colors like this. I don't know, I like, I like the way this looks. And mixed, I'm going to also add a little bit of orange and this color is cadmium orange
try what I did is I take the tape off and and now it's ready to be framed.